Yeah, the Rotterdam study. Uh, it, it is a study I, I, I know best because I, I was involved in, in, in setting it up in the end of the 80s of the last century. It has been going on now for about 30 years. It is a population-based uh, cohort study uh, in people aged 45 or over in one district in the town of Rotterdam in, in, in the Netherlands. It includes about 20,000 people by now and they are followed. Some of them have been followed uh, for, for, as I said, for 25 uh, or, or 30 years. And the idea was to study basically causes of diseases uh, in middle aged and, and in the elderly. And we have focused quite considerably on, on cardiovascular diseases and on neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, dementia, Parkinson's disease. And so the, many of the, the data, the findings that we uh, have had uh, about Alzheimer's disease and dementia, the risk factors, risk indicators for these diseases, we know through the Rotterdam study or through similar cohort studies that have been conducted, not only in, in, in Europe but also in the US. I, I hope that we will find out more securely why there has been this decline in, in, in the incidence in the number of new cases of dementia and Alzheimer's disease and we can translate that then into a policy to, to make that even more forceful. So for example, if we know securely that hypertension treatment, uh, lipids, high lipids treatment, and, and uh, perhaps also better treatment of diabetes and fighting obesity has a positive effect on, uh, on the incidence, namely a declining effect on the incidence of dementia and Alzheimer's disease, we can even more forcefully suggest uh, uh, those measures.